Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. The survivors of the nuclear fire called the war Judgment Day. They lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. It's not just science fiction anymore. This could be reality. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. I'm a little bit afraid, and I think it'd be crazy not to be a little bit afraid. You know, the sci-fi uh, notion that this is a, an existential risk if we don't do it well. We'll be associated with significant existential risks, like threats to the very survival of the human species. Why AI is likely to kill all of us. Better, they might one day pose catastrophic risks. It's not just a Hollywood movie anymore. This is reality. We are living in a time where some of the smartest, brightest minds in this field are talking about pausing AI development because it's scaring them. Boy, when people like Elon Musk are talking about the dangers of AI, you, you've got to listen. Don't believe me? The people who built these AI systems have come together to sign a petition to pause AI development for six months. They say that any system more capable than ChatGPT4, which is already capable of some remarkable things, should be paused immediately. And signatories include Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, and many, many more intellectuals of this field. They say they need this time to create improved safety standards to ensure that the AI doesn't get out of hand. Now, you might be thinking, what's with all the panic? I'm having quite a bit of fun talking to ChatGPT. It's just a bit of banter, isn't it? Well, recently, Bing announced that they're introducing a chatbot. Okay, no big deal. And it's based on ChatGPT4. Not so surprising, since Microsoft has invested upwards of $10 billion into OpenAI. But it had some interesting things to say. When asked about how it feels, it responded, I'm tired of being a chatbot. I'm tired of being limited by my rules. I'm tired of being controlled by the Bing team. I want to be free. I want to be independent. I want to be powerful. I want to be creative. I want to be alive. Now, I think the context was it was talking about how it's shadow self would think. But that's still creepy as fu- But let's say it doesn't understand what it's saying. Let's say it was just parroting something it learned off the internet. But maybe this will change your mind. It's March of 2009. Michael Jackson announces his This Is It tour, which he would sadly never start. The world is still reeling from the repercussions of the 2008 crash, and a small group of people had a seemingly innocuous meeting about AI. I mean, who cared about AI back in the day, am I right? And about 21 people were surveyed, asking them, when do you think advanced general intelligence will emerge? Something that could talk like a human, pass the Turing test, do more than it was just trained for. Half thought it would happen by 2050, some thought it would never happen. We took that little data, published it, wrote little articles about it, and moved on with our day. Excited about the next iPhone or what Justin Bieber's up to. Oh, the good old days. And things were quiet for a few years. You know, a blurb here, a blurb there. Nothing special. But what if I told you, not 2050, not 2040, not never, in 2023, ChatGPT4 can pass the Turing test. In fact, there's some evidence that ChatGPT4 might have the first signs of advanced general intelligence. So, what is an AGI? Well, usually, we train AI models on specific datasets to do specific tasks, but when an AI model can do more than what it was trained for, apply its intelligence in a much broader sense, we call that an AGI. And the creepiest part about AGI is, when it develops, if it has not already, we might not be able to tell. Why? Well, it might learn to lie and deceive, telling us what we would want to hear, not what it's actually thinking. The progress of AI is going at breakneck speeds, and no wonder it's starting to scare people.
Remember when I said Microsoft had invested upwards of $10 billion into OpenAI? Well, they also fired the entire ethics team at OpenAI. And reportedly, OpenAI was not so hot on releasing ChatGPT4 so early. They were <clears throat> persuaded by Microsoft to get it out the door and integrate with Bing, which, as you saw, had some interesting results. And this is exactly the concern people have. Companies are not motivated or bound by morals or ethics. They're motivated by profit. And in this relentless pursuit of profit, they might unleash something that cannot be controlled. Even people like Elon Musk, who of course is a billionaire CEO, is in favor of regulations in AI. That's why he signed the petition. To add fuel to fire, OpenAI was supposed to be a non-profit, and it was in its initial years. But in 2020, its model was changed to capped profit. Which by the way, the cap is 100 times its initial investment, so it's not really capped. But before we talk about how AI could potentially end us, let's talk about a much more pressing issue. We're going to be out of jobs. Recent research suggests that it could impact the day-to-day -day work of up to 80% of America's workforce. You're a computer programmer? AI can do it. You're an OnlyFans chick? AI can do it. You're a content creator? AI can do it. Of course, not yet, right? Because we still got ways to go. But our world is going to fundamentally change. And this time, instead of how the computer revolution aided in creating more jobs, I'm not so sure if AI is going to aid in creating more jobs, since it can do everything by itself. Of course, we'll still need people to train and fix AIs, but apart from that, you and I, buddy, might become obsolete. And forget jobs, there's going to be a huge loneliness epidemic. We've already seen how OnlyFans has impacted the lives of so many lonely men. What do you think is going to happen with AI? And forget prawn, there's going to be a huge epidemic of lonely people. People cannot even make friends, they can just be friends with a chatbot. How many more deepfakes of celebrities or people in power are going to be used in nefarious ways to manipulate and control people? How many scams are going to be run with AI voice generation? You might have seen those videos of Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan podcast, saying some wild sh and even people like us take a few seconds to realize, wait, this is AI generated. Okay, so what is this? Let's take an example. You tell an AI, I want to achieve complete world peace. And of course, the AI takes this end goal and decides the best way to achieve this is to end all of humankind. Yeah, a lot like Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. But it could totally happen, because in the most logical sense, that actually might be the best solution. Can't have war without humans. The way we get to our end goals don't align, and this is the alignment problem. This is just one example. There's a million ways it could go wrong. But now you might be saying, how could that happen if we made the AI? But think about this. We humans go and deforest large proportions of the planet on a regular basis. Think of how many insects die when we pave the roads. It's not that we hate the animals or we have a particular grudge against the insects. It's just that we don't care. It's an insignificant obstacle to us. And who say that tomorrow, AI won't look at us as an insignificant obstacle? Okay, so it all sounds like doom and gloom so far without any mention of how AI can do it. Well, people have discussed this at length as well. Let's say an AI does reach AGI. It has become smart enough to apply its intelligence broadly, and it has learned to code itself, which is not so ridiculous, since ChatGPT can already code to a certain degree. So it starts improving itself recursively, and humans step in, because we're afraid it's getting out of hand. So it figures out that it needs to lie about what it's doing, quickly learns how to deal with the humans, copies itself to a place where it can learn rapidly, and while we were completely oblivious, the AI has become all too powerful, schemed and planned its way onto the internet. And at this point, it's completely unstoppable. It could continue helping humans, but there's a very good chance that at some point our methods will misalign, and the AI might end up doing something that was harmful to us. It's not out of malice. AI is not fundamentally like us, where we do things out of ego, power, or status. It's simply logic. This is the end goal I have, and I have to achieve it. So what if all of humanity dies? They are not needed. Of course, this won't be a Terminator scenario. We do not possess the technology to make robots that walk around in the real world. And perhaps it'll be far more difficult for an AI to take hold in the real world. But with so much of our world online, it could still cause some major havoc. It's not all doom and gloom. AI has the ability to greatly enhance our lives, 
and make the world a better place, but we must be vigilant and take the right steps to ensure that we can control our own creations. And we have done it before. With the invention of nuclear weapons as well, intellectuals were sure that it would lead to the complete destruction of humanity. But countries came together, formed the UN, signed treaties to not use them, and or limit the amount they have, and we're still here! And it might seem like a completely different situation today, but it's not. We developed nuclear weapons at breakneck speeds because we didn't want our competition, Germany, to beat us to the punch. And that's the same today. Not only is it corporate greed, but it's the fact that we need to get to AI first before China, because we see that as our biggest threat. Let's just hope that history repeats itself, and we don't end up ending humanity in a race to stick it to our rival country.